Hi, I'm Nightingale, and this is the story of my life. In Metal City, a city where different kinds of metals live, there are those called the precious metals, the metallic glasses, high entropy alloys, and a lot more other kinds of metals, including the intermetallics. Among the intermetallics, there was a kid who was born with no known qualities, which is a very unusual occurrence for their kind. It was me, Nightingale, daughter of two pure metals, nickel and titanium, who are the Metal City's leaders. So yeah, a little background about my dad, Nickel, or Nick for short. He was from extractive metallurgy and he grew up to be a strong man, and eventually became the city leader of today. He's well known for his contributions in electronics, batteries, medical equipment, and a lot more other fields. On the other hand, my mom, Titanium, was a woman who underwent the cruel process at an early age. She is well known for her contributions in prosthetics used in medicine, aircrafts, spacecrafts, missiles, and a lot more others. And yeah, there's me, their one and only daughter. Mom was very active, so I had to be made in a very special condition, in a vacuum. I don't know which was it, but it was either by vacuum arc remelting, VAR, or vacuum induction melting, VIM. I grew up different from other kids, growing up with no known unique trait. Well, here in Metal City, babies are sorted. And most of the baby's traits are already known before they even grow up to be adults and become professionals. But it was different for me. I wasn't the same as them, or so I thought. Every kid in class bullied me for being different from the rest, for having no definite direction in my life, since everyone had theirs planned out from the moment they were born. Until one day, after a long, exhausting school day, I was walking home, alone and sad, thinking about why I'm different than the rest, why in the long list of all the metals before me, I was different. I was very deep in thought, and I did not notice that I was already crossing the street until I got hit by a car. My body laid there, deformed, and everyone who saw what happened were shocked. As the daughter of the city leaders, I was a known face, and news about my accident spread throughout the town. I was rushed to the hospital, and everyone worried about my state. Accidents in Metal City usually do not end well, with victims being deformed for life or needing treatment. I was sleeping in the hospital room when the doctors were deliberating on what treatment they will subject me to. I was asleep for a few hours, my parents rushing to the hospital as soon as they heard the news. As soon as they opened the door, everyone was shocked to see me. The doctors and the nurses assigned to attend to me, and even my parents were all stunned by what happened. Everyone didn't know how it was possible, especially everyone who saw how I looked just after the accident. When I finally woke up, I had no idea of what had happened. I don't know why their faces all looked shocked. The doctors asked a ton of questions which surprised me, especially because I have no idea of what had happened after the accident. All I remember was the extreme pain I felt when I got hit. 
until my parents told me about my newly discovered abilities. Discovering my abilities was one thing, but discovering that I can actually recover from deformation and go back to my original shape? Just wow. It was a breakthrough in Metal City. From then on, I used my abilities to help the town. My classmates eventually stopped bullying me and started to accept me. They have discovered my mechanical properties, and with this, I have so much to do. They found out that I can be austenitic and more acidic, depending on the temperature. I have been an advocate in helping other metal kids in being accepted for who they are, even if their abilities may not have been discovered yet. They tested me to know the extent of my capabilities. I was heat treated for hot working which I had no problems at all, but at low temperatures, it was di really difficult. The very high work hardening was a problem, but it can be resolved by intermediate annealing treatments for cold working, machining, and etc. As for my ductility problems with high transition temperature, relief could be done by alloying with boron. I had to be treated delicately and critically with the need of fine tuning for transition temperature. To control my properties, I must control the combination of heat treatment and cold working. As soon as I graduated, I started helping in the different industries in our town, such as in aerospace, electronics, mechanical engineering, and medical applications. Today, I want to share a message to all of you. It's okay to be different. It's okay not to be in pace with others. Everyone has their own pace and shouldn't be shamed for li being late in discovering their abilities and talents. Everyone has a special purpose. Even if you haven't found yours now, it doesn't mean you're nothing. It just means you're being prepared for something bigger.